Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Gang, we're back with another video, and today we're gonna be doing a video on how to use automation clips in your beats. You know, when you're laying out your pattern or you know stuff like that. Because a lot of times you wanna add effects to your beats, but you don't want the effects going on the whole time while the beats playing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to manipulate your automation clips, how to add them, add different effects to it, and things like that. So uh, yeah, uh, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget comments in the comment section below on videos I should do in the future. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And um, of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video or a live stream when I do them. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all on the computer. All right, we are back on my computer for this automation clips tutorial. So when we're making automation clips, you guys um, may or may not have seen them before, which is why you're watching this video. Um, so a lot of automation clips, what they are, is it's a way for you to control different um, knobs and functions in FL Studio. Um, what they're mo mainly used for, what they're m used for a lot of the time, is for effects. So like, <clears throat> you know, when you use Gross Beat or Fruity, um, what's it called? Fruity Love Filter or one of these effects over here. So, I mean, that's what I use them for at least. So, <clears throat> let's say, that I hope that I, okay so this is first of all this is what the beat that I'm using sounds like um, I'll just play it for you unorthodox beats sounds like so far um you know I'm gonna, I've been working on it I'm probably gonna finish it soon but anyway I digress okay so when you're making automation clips you normally want to put the um, effect on the master track because obviously whatever effect you put on like affects the track that it has been put on if that makes any sense but yeah so we're gonna use the we're gonna put effects on the master track so we can affect the whole beat um, so let's, let's see, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna open up, you know, I'm gonna open up Fruity Love Filter, I use Nexus, I mean, I use Gross Beat too much, so let's use Fruity Love Filter, there's a preset that I like to use sometimes, um, I forgot, oh, it's called PC Low Pass Plus Phaser, and it's gonna make your beat sound, it's gonna have a cool effect to your beat, so this is what it's gonna sound like. Obviously, that sounds nice, but you don't want that playing for the entire beat because it's gonna sound annoying after a while. So, what you can do is, so let's say I want it to play right before the beat drops right here. Let's say I want it to play right about, I want it to happen right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deselect this. I'm gonna highlight right here because it's gonna hit right here. And I'm gonna go back to the mixer, go to the master track, because that's where we put the VS, the um, effect, so it's right here, see? Fruity Love Filter right here. And this right here is what we call the mix level, and mix level is just, or it controls how much the effect is affecting the beat. So um, what we're gonna do is right click on this uh, mix level knob, and we're gonna click on Create Automation Clip right here. And then if we go back to the playlist, it is going to be, you're going to find right here where we highlighted, it's going to be your automation clip. So right now, nothing changed. It's, it's still going to sound the same, so. So as you can tell, it's going to keep on playing. So what I said I wanted to do, I wanted the automation clip to play just before the 
snare or no, just before the hi hats and the claps came in. So like right here, like around this area right here. So what we are going to do is I, mean, I like to zoom in, so I'm gonna zoom in and make this bigger. What I'm gonna do is drag this down here, drag this down, create a point by right clicking and dragging it down here. Create another point right here, and I'm gonna right click and drag it up here. And oh, and by the way, I'm on a bar snap, so that's easier to manage the um, point, different points in the uh, automation clip. And also, what I'm going to do is hang on a second. Also, bring this out here, add another point here, bring it down there, and then bring this back. Okay, so I know I was going a little fast, so I'm going to explain what I just did. Okay, so this line right here. This is the this line, this purple line here is so what this line represents. This line represents or how much the effect is mixed in with the beat. There you go. Um, <clears throat> so right now I have the this line right here. It's about 50%. It's about halfway up. So you can move it up or down. It's about halfway up. So we'll just say that's 50%. So. Or, I mean, it gives you right here. If you look at the top left corner, it says 57%. <clears throat> but, I mean, that was close enough. <laughs> yeah, but um, what this means is that throughout this entire, these, this entire eight bars here, the effect is going to be on 50%. So, or here, the effect is going to be on 50%. So, I'm going to play it, and you're going to hear that. Half of it is going to sound like, or you're going to hear some of the effect on, you're going to hear some of the regular, um, uh, hear some of the beat without the effect. So here's what it's going to sound like. So as you can tell, you can hear in that portion of the song, you can hear that some of it has the effect on it and some of it doesn't. So that's how we would control it. So if I put it all the way up here, if I had this whole line all the way up here, it's obviously going to have it. And then if I bring this all the way down, you're not going to hear the effect at all. So what we wanted to do is have the full effect happen at a certain point. So what I did was I created this little box shape here. So I'm going to just actually move this for a second. What I did was created this little box here. So as the beat's playing along, it's gonna keep playing, keep playing, and then as soon as it hits this, the effect is going to in, is going to be enabled. So it's gonna be off this entire time here. So as the beat plays the entire time, it's gonna be off, it's gonna be off, it's gonna be off. And then as soon as it hits the last bar, it's going to be on. And then you're gonna hear it. So this is what I mean. I'm gonna play it for you so you can understand what I'm talking about. So as you can tell, the effect only went on at this portion right here. And it gives the beat, you know, a nice little transition into another part of the beat. So, um... There's that. I'm gonna use another of, um, effect, um, and this time it's gonna be in gross beat. So I just deleted it here. So I'm gonna have to delete it off the master track, or else it's gonna be playing. So we're gonna replace this with none. Another effect that I like to use. I'm gonna use gross beat. So I like to use the two two beat gate. So what it does is it mutes the beat in the first and second bar of each four bars. So um, it's going to sound like this. So it's going to sound like that. Once again, you don't want that effect playing throughout the entire beat. So what we're going to do is do the same thing. Um, whoops, we're going to highlight where we want it. So this time, let's do it before all the drums come in. So we're going to highlight everything here until up until the drums come in. Go to the mixer, go to our effects that we put on the master channel or the master track and we're going to right click on the mix level knob and 
click on create automation clip and then as you can see it's going to be right here and of course by default everything's at 100 percent the effect is at 100 percent and it's going to have that gate playing throughout the entire beat and we do not want that so what we're going to do is do the same thing drag this down here all the way down so that it's completely zero and also we need another point so i'm going to right click here oops right click here drag it down here so throughout this entire what is this like couple of bars here it's going to be completely the effect is going to be completely disabled and then we're going to create another point here and also another point here drag this one down which is very important so that it disables after so that we have the effect only playing for the last two bars right here before the last two bars before the all the um, drums come in so here's what the effect is going to sound like So as you can tell, once again, it gives that nice little transition to your beat. There's a few more things you can do with automation clips. So I'll give an example now. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete these points real quick. I'm gonna delete all of these ones that I made. I'm gonna right click, press delete, right click and delete. Okay. So other things you can do with automation clips, you can change these little shapes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and let's say I wanna do a wave. I'm gonna click on wave for the mode. Okay. So we have the wave mode. And what this does is it turns the mix level of the effect up and down every bar, it seems. So it's in this first bar, it goes down and up, and then the second bar, it goes down and up, and then down, and so on and so forth. So another thing, I'm gonna show you guys what this does, what it does in real time. So. Watch very closely as this, oops, let me detach this so that doesn't go away. Where's the detach? All right. So watch very closely at the mixer right here at the mix level as this goes on. So look. So as you can tell, this automation clip controls the mix level of this knob right here. It controls it without you having to touch it at all, obviously. That's why it's an automation clip. It automatically changes the mix level of an effect. So, so yeah, there's that. I just wanted to show you guys that because it gives you a better understanding of an automation clip instead of just like, you know, using this. But this is the knob that these automation clips control and they also can control different knobs it can control the master volume up here it can control uh the tempo even if you add an automation clip you can control the tempo which is not really recommended but um you can do that um and uh yeah that's pretty much it also you can go through there's a whole bunch of different modes that you can do there's stairs that you can do that gradually decrease and increase. It's kind of like what we we're doing with the um, gross beat tutorial that I did. It's kind of the same thing. Um, you do half sign, which just does the same thing. It was it's basically the same thing as the gross beat tutorial. But uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of modes that you can do and play around with with the automation clips. But um, but uh, yeah, there's my automation clips tutorial. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Um, I hope this helps you, you know, be more creative with your beats, add transitions and things like that. And, um, yeah, um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to leave comments on videos that you do in the future in the comment section below. And don't forget to share this with your friends, of course. You know what I'm saying? Tell them about Docs Gang. Tell them how it is over here. And, uh, yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications while you're at it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.